Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we started with the creation of our own GUI status. We uncommented the parameter I underscore callback PF status set. We gave some name in front of that parameter with the same name, we created the subroutine and we have written the syntax to create our own GUI status in that subroutine, in between that form and end form. And what is the syntax? Set PF status, name of the PF status. We double click. We gave the description, we created and provided that description. Now we have three parts. Now we will create two functions or two buttons in the application toolbar. So I will expand the application toolbar. Suppose my name of the, suppose first button, I first button is used to display the output in smart form. Second button is used to display the output in Adobe form. Suppose I will give for the first button as smart forms. Suppose you can give any name. It is totally, totally your wish. But remember, it is very, very important because in the coding, we will use same to same thing. Whenever I will double click, I gave some name and I double click. Have you seen? Whatever the name you provided, the same name is assigned to the function. Or I will say the best word is function code, function code. Now you can relate very easily Every, every button has a function code, function code. Suppose if I will go to any transaction code of SAP. Suppose I click onto this syntax check button. How system understand that you clicked onto syntax check button with the help of function code of this button. I clicked onto this activate button. How system understand that we clicked on to activate button with the help of function code. So same thing is here. It will act as a function code of the button and we will write the logic based upon this only, this particular thing. I will go for OK. Now I will give the function text. So suppose I will give you same to same function text. Now I will come on to icon. We all know every button has a symbolic image, symbolic image. Just see, this is the image for the syntax check. This is the image for the activation. This is the image for the copy. Now, same thing we need to give the icon. Yes, because image helps a user to understand. Yes. So now we will choose some icon for this particular thing. I will go to F4. Now you can see the icon is already provided. We will choose, we will take this icon for this smartphone. We will take this icon for Adobe form. So I will take this icon. I think this icon is for ascending. You can see we have this icon, this icon. So I will choose this icon. You can take any icon of your own choice. It is totally your wish. So I will take this icon. Now I will give the information text, information text. What is the information we want? The information of the button is print preview using smart forms. So I will write this. Print 
preview using smart forms i will go for okay now we all know every button has a shortcut suppose simple if you are going for syntax check control plus f2 is the shortcut if you are going for activation control plus f3 is the shortcut for activation same thing we are creating our own functions or own buttons we need to give the shortcut and you can see it is mentioned in the functional specification the shortcut for the first button is shift plus f button. i will choose shift plus f now i will go for ok so my first button is red same way now i will go to second button what is the name what is the name i will give to the second button or i will say function code for the second button if i will give the best word because with the same name SAP is creating the function code. It will act as a whatever we are giving, it will act as a function code of the button. I will double click. Same to same process. You can see with this name, we have the function code. I will go for OK. Now I will go for same to same function text. Now we need to choose the image for this. So image for this is descending, descending image. So we will choose the descending image. This is the descending image. I will give the information text. What is the information text? Print preview using Adobe Forms. So I will write print preview using Adobe Forms. I will go for OK. Now, what is the shortcut for this button? Shift plus F2. I will choose. Now I will go for Okay, now you can double click and see what is the function code for first button, smart forms. What is the function code for second button, Adobe form. So whatever the name you are giving at the starting level, that will act as a function code. And yes, same thing we will use in the coding also. I will activate my GUI status and in our own GUI status, we created the GUI status sales and in that we created our two buttons. What is first button? Yes, for the smart form. The second button is for the Adobe form. Now how it will work? Whenever the control will come onto this grid display function module, it will check. Have you given some name in front of this PF status? We gave this name. And is the, say, is the subroutine available with this particular name? Yes, subroutine is available with that name. So SAP will simply, simply call this logic. And in this we created our own two buttons, one for the smart form, one for the Adobe form, in which part of the GUI status application to part. If I will show you the output, I will give some date. I will give the created by. Okay. Now you can see SAP function keys are not available. SAP application toolbar is not available. Yes, this is the title bar. This is the title. Yes, we gave to the program. Yes, now you can see we are getting our own button. What is first button? Are we getting our own images which we gave? Yes, but the shortcut for the first button shift plus f1 but the information we gave 
print preview using smart forms. If I will go to second button, what is the shortcut for the second button? Shift plus F2. And what the, what, what the particular te information text we gave? Print preview using Adobe form. I will change this by mistake. I put the wrong spelling of preview. Now, system and help are always, always available. And in every, every screen, we created our own GUI status. But still, system and help are always, always available in every, every GUI status. So these two are coming always. Now, next thing. Have you seen back button is disabled? But at least back button should be enabled. It is mentioned in our functional specification also. Please, please enable the back button because how customer will go to the back, how customer will go to the selection screen. Yes, if you are creating your own GUI status, some things must be there. Yes, because we simply override the SAP GUI status with our own GUI status. Two buttons are coming, two functions are coming, but at least back provision must be there. So what is this particular area? Back button is a part of function keys. So I will simply, simply go for function keys. So now I will go to SC38 because back button is not there. So I have to put SC38 and come again. Now I will go for this PF status. I will go to function keys. And this is our back button. I will write back. Done. I will change the spelling also. I just give the space here and I will correct the spell. Print, print. I will go for that. If I will show you the output, you can see back button enable. This is our first button in the application toolbar. Second button in the application toolbar. This is for smart form. This is for Adobe form. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we created two buttons in the application toolbar of our own GUI status. Remember, Whenever you are giving the name, whenever you are giving the name, the same thing will act as a function code. And that is the most, most important part which will be used in the coding because every button has a unique function code. We created the button, we choose the images for the button, we provided the shortcut to the button. Yes, we provided the information text to the button. Then after that, we enable the back button also in the function keys and we got the expected output. Now in the next video, we will see whenever you will click on to these buttons. Yes, whenever we will click on to these buttons, what will happen at that particular time we all know the user command will call so in the next video we will handle the user command part so that's it in this video thank you